How's it going, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another live reaction to Tokyo Ghoulry Chapter 163, that rhymed, entitled Unbreakable. So far, guys, today has been a very enjoyable day thus far. We got the new key visual drop for the Tokyo Ghoulry anime tweeted out this morning by Yonko Productions. Shout out to him. I don't know him personally, but he does awesome work by getting this stuff out there. And seeing that this morning, I was like, all right, today is a good day thus far, waking up on a very good note. But I just heard the news not even moments ago before starting this recording. It's not even TG related. My Hero Academia Season 3 confirmed to be 25 episodes. I'm beyond hyped right now. I've been tweeting out thus far, so if you guys haven't followed me for Tokyo Ghoulry or My Hero Academia, follow me on Twitter, guys. I'm so, so excited right now, and I, even, I haven't even begun to read the latest chapter for Tokyo Ghoulry, so I don't want to go off any more than a tangent than I need to. I want to see what goes on here because I doubt we're getting any Furuta or Rize in this chapter. Odds are we'll have Kaneki talking with everybody, but I'm really curious to see where Kaneki's mindset is right now. But I won't know until I read this chapter, guys. So follow along with me, bring it up in another tab or window. I'm getting into it right now on the very first page. All right, so let's see. We got talking about the series, you know, volume 15 comes out uh, March 19th. And I think, I'm not sure if this was confirmed, but Rize might be on the cover for volume 15. So. That's very exciting. We haven't had Rize on a volume cover since volume five of part one. I had, to, I had to look at my collection up there, but all right. First page, TV anime airing April, a vast unknown Tokyo. And we got a whole bunch of debris. Is this Kaneki just standing in the middle of rubble? All right, that's the first page. Next page, Unbreakable 163. So it's somebody just walking through. It's, yep, it's Kaneki. Wait a minute. How is he walking around? I thought he had no arms and legs. So he's looking around. He sees people like digging through the debris. And then Kaneki, someone like questioning Kaneki. Oh, wait, is that, that's in his mind then? He's not all the way back then, is he? Because we see Toka and Psycho just woke up and they're both staring at Kaneki. And his hair is long. I have noticed that, that Kaneki's hair has gotten extremely long just by the way that Ishida has been drawing it. I'm not sure if that's just a stylist choice by Ishida or it's just to show the passage of time for just how long Kaneki has been within Dragon. I have no idea, but I, all I know is that Psycho is ecstatic to see him, to see her maman, and I, I really want to see Toka's reaction to this because I... Psycho! And then she just jumped up and hugged him. And then there's Hinami, Shu, and Nishiki. Hinami, Tsukiyama, Nishio. So he recognizes everybody, which is a really good sign. So, so far, it seems like his mind is still functioning. And this is kind of the same Kaneki that went in, that came out. Haize. So, wow, Akira's still referring to him as Haize. Akira, Amon. Yeah, everybody's in here. We have Banjo, too. We have Yomo. We have Misa. Kaneki. And there's a little panel of Ayato. Little Ayato right there. <laughs> Nishiki, you bastard. Just how fucking immoral, immortal are you? <laughs> that is so funny. That is true, though, because think about all the situations Kaneki has been in. He's always gotten out of it some way or another. Not without scratches or missing some limbs, but he somehow makes it out of it. But I love how Nishiki's just grabbing his face and is just like, you bastard. <laughs> So he's like, you little brat. So typical Nishiki. So he's like, Nishio, I. And he's like, shh. Just like, kind of like shoving it off. Sit tight. I've got to go tell Kimmy. Yeah, go tell her the good news that he's finally awoken. And now he's looking at Toka. Aw, and, and Toka hugged him. Oh my god. We've waited this for a while, and I'm glad that this is like her first reaction to actually seeing Kaneki conscious. Like, there's no hitting. There's no bad feelings. It's just like, I'm glad that you are okay. I mean, that's her husband, after all. Thump, 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 thump. I can't believe it. I didn't think you'd actually wake up, and yet... So this is Kimmy, now talking with Kaneki. Your body's now more mysterious and unfathomable than it ever was before, Kaneki. But I'm glad. As far as we could tell, you seem to be in good health. How do you feel? His hair, though, that's really distracting me. 
I mean, even besides his body, the Kagane body that he has. Fine, I think. And Toka and Saiko are in the room with him. Oh, it's like a mother-daughter being with the with Kaneki. I like this. I like this a lot. Saiko is not leaving his side. That is adorable. And Toka too. Fine, I think. The visual field loss and headaches I had appear to be gone. So that's good. So it must have replenished his RC cells that were just slowly deteriorating or rapidly deteriorating. And he doesn't seem to have that. So he's no longer bleeding from the eye. Um, by the way, why are Toka and the others with you and Psycho? You stand together against the threat. Stand against. And it's not just them. So they're talking about ghouls and humans coming together. Right now, the members of Goat and Doves have joined together and are lending each other their strength. The CCG and ghouls are, temporarily at least. Why are they? In order to save you, he brought together the ghouls and Goat and the CCG. Nagachika did, I mean. Okay, I'm, I'm not going to turn the page yet. He just mentioned Hide's name. Kaneki has no idea that Hide is even alive. What is his first reaction going to be to this? This is big news for Kaneki right here, because he thought he killed him. Okay, next page. He sh yeah, he's shocked. Hide, is he... To save you, he encouraged the ghouls and the CCG to cooperate with each other. Nagachika's actions lit a fire in the hearts of those in goats, and those emotions spurred the CCG into action. Ghouls and the CCG are cooperating. You guys brought them together. It's really quite something. That's very interesting, though, because this is what Kaneki has been striving for this entire time. But due to his actions, you know, bringing about Dragon and really becoming public enemy number one, Hide was able to rally everyone to that cause. So I'm really wondering how Kaneki feels about that, that everything he was working so hard to do, everyone came together because of a mistake that he made, basically, and Hide was there to pick up the pieces. But he's got to feel happy about this. I mean, his best friend throughout the series is finally back. He's not dead, so... But of course, Ashida has to be a total troll and have Hide leave the room soon before Kaneki was about to awake, so he's teasing us. He is teasing us hard with this inevitable Kaneki and Hide, you know, reunion that's about to take place. And I don't even think we're getting it this chapter, and I just turned the page and that... Panel of Hide is a typical Hide panel of him smiling. <laughs> the sunshine of the series. <laughs> Nagachika should eventually be back. Keyword, eventually. He's alive? Hide? I want to see him. I want to see him. I really do. Of course he does. This is, this is the man he grew up with. This was the only person that gave him a reason to live during the early years of his life, so... I totally understand that, like, Kaneki right now is like, wait a minute, you're telling me my best friend's alive? Yeah, of course I want to see him. But I... Could you... Could you show me around the city? I hope it's okay. Don't push yourself, okay? Marade's orders are that if you happen to awake, you must be constantly monitored. Ure. All right. Ooh, ooh. I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. Ure confronting Kaneki right now. Because this is what I've been... We're all looking forward to right now, is Kaneki talking with everybody right now, and we're slowly getting that. So, Ure. Do you mind if I take him around? <laughs> Miss Nishino. Not at all. The body tissue we've collected pr proves that he isn't directly causing the rise in ROC cases. So, I think that's supposed to be ROS, not ROC, but could be wrong. So Ure is going to walk with Kaneki around, which I'm kind of wondering, Kaneki, from what I remember, doesn't have arms or legs, so maybe he grew them back. I didn't actually notice in the panels I've been reading if he actually had legs or arms, so I don't know. So next page. So I'm getting, yeah, he has to have legs. He's walking around on page 12. So we have Ure and Psycho walking with their former, their former superior, their former leader. This road, we used to come here a lot by car. That store. We get breakfast there, right? After all-nighter missions. You'd come too, Uri. Normally I'd decline, but I was hungry. Oh my god, memories, like the past. This is crazy. 
this is like so nostalgic considering that like you know i've been getting the earlier volumes of tokyo glory we're about to get the anime where we're going to go back to the beginning of re it's really nostalgic and just fun to go back and think about the simpler times of when Heize was Heize. So, and look at all the destruction too on these panels of the roads, just what Dragon caused, it's crazy. So, it's very quiet. As you can see, this place which was probably the most populated of this ward is now in this state. We managed to finish evacuations of the surrounding areas with blinding speed, I might add, all thanks to the cooperative effort. Psycho stayed up all night helping with evacuations too. Yeah. And, and Ure smiled at her too. I love just the dynamic now between Ure and Psycho. He used to hate her so much in the beginning. He used to be like, why? Oh my god, memories. I love it. And Kaneki too, like he's, he's missed all this. Ever since, you know, regaining his memories, he missed, like, Ure and Psycho and Mitsuki, all that they've been through, some good and some bad. This is crazy. If you're going to let it show in your face, let it out of your mouth, Sasaki. Huh? I can at least listen to what you have to say. Just pondering things alone won't lead to any useful insights. Oh, wow. He's got, like, a painful look in his eye, Kaneki. Listen in his face. Very painful. Thank you, Ure. Page. The screens are all off. Electricity hasn't yet returned everywhere, so there are ones that are just stuck, too. And not everyone's lights are working yet, either. That should be enough, right? Can't say that running away from HQ at a time like this is wise. Yes, thank you, Ure and Psycho. Can I come visit you? Psycho, I have a lot I want to talk with you about, Maman. Of course. What's the matter? You want to buy... What's going on right here? So there's like the shocked persona coming over, over Psycho right now, and Ure notices. What is this? Chomp, chomp. So that's where those eating sounds were coming from. So they're going to confirm, like, human turning into ghouls right here. It's a ghoul. He's not going to go starving, that's for sure. Ure. As an investigator, I can't just ignore him. Eek, st stop. Please forgive me. What? I didn't know what to do. I was just so hungry. It's a human. Yeah, it's a human. Please, let me go. No. What are you... Captain, this ghoul smells weird. So, yeah, now they're coming to learn, and it's like, and she runs away, and it's, it's a human. It's the ROS disease. Yeah, Kaneki, look what you did. <laughs> well, he's only a section of causing this. He's only a small piece in Furuta's grand scheme, which I still don't know what Furuta's big plan in all this, but they've now seen it firsthand that there's a human turning into ghoul thanks to ROS disease. So, next page. That person. She's a bureau member that works in the 20th Ward branch office. What are you? She is a human. Or she was. Is this thing on? So, oh, it don't, whoa, wait a minute. Is that Furuta on the screen right there? I'm on the bottom of page 18. I'm looking at the screen. That looks like Furuta. Is he on the screen right now? What is this troll up to? Newscaster Nimura here. He's, he's a newscaster. What? I'm on the scene in the shopping district of the fourth ward right now. We have some Kagane monsters. Look. Monsters are eating humans. <laughs> is this the rapture itself, or is the devil playing games with us? I'm going to try to get an interview with one of those monsters right now. Maritza, you are my favorite character, I think, now in Tokyo Ghoulry. How did this man become a news broadcaster? What? We have Kagane monsters, just a sea of them behind him. He has a microphone, and he is reporting on the news. He really downgraded in his job search. He went from bureau chief to newscaster. <laughs> what? An unpleasant voice. End of 163, and the microphone says, Nemu, cha <laughs> Nemu Channel. He has his own broadcasting channel. 
Oh my god. Next issue, the TV anime draws near. A color cover. And that's where we end off with the King of Trolls himself. How? Like, how does he do this? Ferta is amazing. Ferta is absolutely amazing. I love his character so much. He's done so many horrific things for the series, but just as a, as a character in it of himself, I love everything that he's done. He just does not take himself seriously at all. He's like a, he's like a Looney Tunes. He just is able to do anything in this series and I would be totally okay with it. So overall guys, really enjoyable chapter. Kaneki right now, I'm really glad he got to talk with Ure and Psycho for a little bit. I was actually really hoping he got to talk more with Toka just a little bit, you know, considering that's his wife. But of course, with Hide gone, we didn't get that Hide and Kaneki conversation or find out anything else about Rize in this chapter. But Ferreta just, uh, just went on a job search and just discovered that he is actually really good at reporting the news. <laughs> Hashtag fake news. Hey, fake news, Ferreta. I love this so much. There's going to be so much fun stuff to do for this review, guys. I'm going to have a lot, a lot of fun with this, but hope you guys enjoyed my live reaction, guys. If you guys want to stay up to date with everything that I'm talking about with like Tokyo Ghoul and with like My Hero Academia I mentioned earlier, feel free to follow me on Twitter, guys. I have so much fun talking about these two series on Twitter, and I would love to talk with you guys even outside of YouTube. You guys are more than welcome, but that right there is chapter 163. 164 will be out next week, and my review will either be out later tonight or sometime tomorrow. But until then, guys, I'll talk with you guys later. Bye, guys.